So you can see the numbers, but you can't see the numbers for one guy out there. There. How's that look? I pulled back just short, so you got 35.50 at uh, 36 pounds of boost. And yeah, oh shoot, you know what? I'm running a little bit out of fuel pump right there, so I gotta go fix that thing. Don't read that. I don't have the Dyno O2 hooked up. I'm only using the the uh, EFI. So that was at 35 pounds of boost on race gas. That's and that's pretty good. I'm playing happy with that. Uh, it still climbs out here if I want to run it out there, but then well, we'll run it down the track like that. But uh, I can run it on the dyno, but it's just beating stuff up. So, anyways, I think I'll uh, turn this up just a little bit more, and we'll do it again. But that way you got to see the screen. So the one guy didn't think anything was real because he didn't see the screen all at the same time. So anyways, I'll go make a change and come back. <laughs> There you go. Let's see what this did. Um, and we did make boost. Uh, I'll take a look at the tune up here. And you can see now I have this uh, fuel pump, this Holly VR2 fuel pump. See it way in there. Let's see. Just that big single VR2 fuel pump. And uh, obviously that is the limit because I can't, I have got 18 volts going to the pump right now. And uh, as you can see, my fuel pressure is uh, not maintaining, it's dropping. So I'm going to lean up here, which is why I pulled back on the throttle. But uh, we can see basically, you know, 40 pounds of boost, 41 pounds of boost, 3763. Uh, and it, I mean, obviously, you can see right there through the graph. That where I pulled back on the throttle right here because I've seen it going lean not being able to maintain fuel but that's the fuel pump that we have on it and uh, we could put more fuel on it obviously and you can also see it's still climbing I mean this thing will make 4,000 horsepower because I normally run these things up at 9,000 ish rpm I don't like doing it on the dyno for 9,000 rpm but because uh, it's just hard to put my dyno parts 
um, and we do it on the, down the cars and proven, you know, with uh, with the other motors that we have out there. But uh, all in all, that's a uh, pretty good on 525 cubic inch. Now you also see the diminishing returns on boost and why this thing is so good at. 20 pounds of boost and then 25 pounds of boost because it is in a really efficient spot on the map for that particular size motor and those particular turbos. So keep that in mind and why you don't see things that uh, 50 pounds boost make make uh, five you know thousand horsepower uh, in twins. And I've done that when I've done quad turbos, four turbos, but uh, you know because they just get an inefficient spot in the map. Everything starts getting inefficient. So I mean, even the, these thing, uh, this engine, which on methanol we would run 60, 70 pounds of boost. I probably wouldn't run this much more than than 40 to 50 pounds of boost at the absolute most. But I mean, the tune-up looks really good on this thing uh, so far. And I'll go in and do a plug read. But you know, that was the live dyno pull right there, as you're seeing it. And uh, again, keep in mind, trying to teach you guys something other than uh, just the naysayers and haters and run their fat mouths is that you know that's why these things run so good at these lower boost numbers because I tune for it down there so they can utilize that and they're just in a very efficient spot in the map uh, of the compressor map of why they make so much horsepower why they make more than one to one or what I would call uh, basically it's a hundred to one so it'd be uh, you know for every pound of boost it makes a hundred horsepower so <clears throat> it makes more than that then it goes to a spot like at 35 pounds of boost where it makes right at that. And then uh, as we continue to go above it, it starts losing so it no longer makes 100 horsepower per pound of boost. So like at where we're at 41 pounds of boost, even though we're a little lean through here, it might be maybe would have made 38.50 or so, something like that. But uh, um, you can see that because that is losing fuel pressure, it's going lean. I pull back on the throttle. And don't remember, remember, this is nothing. Don't care. That's not live. That means that the O2 is off. So, because I'm using the, the uh, EFI's the O2. But anyways, you can see the fuel pressure is dropping. That's a problem. And uh, anyways, that's, the, that's those diminishing returns. And then the bigger the motor, you know, there's, there's different sweet spots on how they, uh, where they really make this really efficient big horsepower for a limited amount of boost. And keep in mind that this is twin 94 millimeter turbos. So this is different than your single 80 millimeter or your single 75. Uh, I could probably make uh, probably 20 pounds of boost with, well, I could probably make 20, 25 pounds of boost with a single 94 millimeter turbo. And it will not make the same horsepower as the exact same pounds of boost at with twins. That is because flow and pressure are two different things. It flows much more air, clean, efficient air, with twins at the same amount of boost as it does with a single. So just something, a uh, little bit of tech for you guys, but there's real good numbers. Uh, out of fuel pump, that's what we're going to stop at. This thing just needs to go in the car. Obviously, we can make more, do more, but uh, super happy with uh, fully water jacketed uh, SMX. In fact, let's see what the... Uh, water temperature is do, 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 do. let me close this change this one so that's the first pass that we just made so this was 41 and uh, 37 something 80 or something like that can't remember I'll change it later if that's different and yeah, we'll save 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 and we go over here, let's we'll see what the water temperature is on our fully water jacketed SMX. Oh, 132 degrees. And I've been flogging the snot out of this thing, just doing pulls here, pulls here, making changes, working on my, uh, actually working on my dyno, working on a couple little things for uh, drive shaft and my oil pump drive. So this thing just sits there and maintains temperature, uh, just like it does in the car when we're driving it on the street driving it everywhere pulling a trailer with a race car not the race car in the trailer but the actual race car pulling a trailer but anyways uh super cool smx to the front i'm steve morris have a good day